Well, let's turn now to a country overseas. Greece's debt troubles do continue. Yesterday, standards, Standard & Poor's cut the struggling country's credit rating to single B, which is five notches below investment grade. The company also warned of more downgrades that they could be on the way. Our next guest signed that ratings report. We want to bring in S&P's head of sovereign ratings for Europe, the Middle East, and Africa, Maurice Kramer. He joins us now live from Frankfurt. Good morning, Maurice. Thanks for joining us. Good morning, Lisa. So let me start this morning, Maria. It's, there's uh, some interesting news coming out. One of the papers from Greece saying that the IMF has, in fact, restructured it, a package. What are you hearing from your perspective where you stand at the moment? The IMF, together with the EU and the ECB, the so-called Troika, is actually in Athens right now discussing the progress of the program with the Greek government. And um, I think it's quite... Uh, Quite, quite plausible and likely that there are discussions also about the subject that you touch upon because the original program that was put into place last year did actually foresee that Greece would be entering the capital markets again uh, at the latest next year and complement the official financing. Now it looks that this prospect has become more remote in the last 12 months and so there is a financing gap and the official creditors, meaning the EU and the IMF, are likely to ponder about options of how they might be filling the gap and under what conditions. Maurice, is a restructuring a good thing from your perspective as a ratings agency? Uh, restructuring as far as the rating agency is concerned is neither good nor bad. I mean, it's, it's not our job to opine on policy choices. It's our job to uh, to call the credit risk as we see it and inform the investors. And we believe, and this was expressed in the downgrade yesterday, that the likelihood of a restructuring is increasing. And uh, part of that uh, thinking has to do also not only with the slippage of the uh, program on the fiscal adjustment targets of Greece last year, um, especially on the revenue side where tax increases tend to be sticky uh, and not moving as much up as expected, but also because uh, some of the official creditor countries in, uh, in, in Europe are increasingly having a controversial debate domestically about what the best way forward would be. So we expect that uh, there might be a, a decision to provide further official funding, but it's our concern that the official creditors would demand a comparability of treatment, and if they extend the maturities, for example, a lower the interest rate, they might be asking the same of the private creditors. And that, of course, is, uh, in our definition, a default of the sovereign. It's a restructuring of the terms uh, to the detriment of the creditors. Uh, we're not saying it's good or bad, we're just stating uh, what we think is likely to happen. You continue to have the country on uh, the sovereign on credit watch. So what would trigger a, a movement in your rating, either upwards or downwards? Well, I think the, uh, the credit watch is with negative implications. So I think the uh, upward movement of the rating is a pretty remote prospect, of course. Um, but what could move it further down from the pretty low levels where the rating is today is if there's further evidence of a restructuring requirement of, um, of uh, private uh, creditors to the Greek government. Now, there will be uh, a lot of, sort of analysis that needs to be done and when this happens and if it happens, um, to what extent this is voluntary, to what extent this is really to the detriment of the, of the creditors. Um, so we expect, um, obviously, announcements coming out of the discussions that the IMF and EU have with the Greek government, but we're also following very closely what's going on in the domestic debates in some of the key European countries which act as official creditors to Greece at this point because it's also upon them to maintain the willingness to extend further financing to the Greek government. Um, otherwise, this financing gap will be very hard to bridge. All right. Thanks so much, Maritz, for joining us. That was Maritz Kramer, Managing Director and Head of the Sovereign's Rating Group at Standard & Poor's, joining us live from Frankfurt.